Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to set up Copilot on the Xbox One S. The process is exactly the same for the standard Xbox One as well. Now what Copilot allows you to do is use two controllers to control the same character. So for example if you were to move left on this controller, then if you move left on this controller, normally it doesn't work. But when you set up Copilot, it will also move the character left and you've got full functions on both controllers. Now this was designed with disability in mind. So for example now, let's say if you are unfortunate enough only to have one arm, then what you could do is you could control for example with your left hand on this controller and then perhaps you might be controlling for example your foot on this controller. So you'd be able to still play the Xbox One. Now, another really useful feature, like for someone like myself, is basically if you're playing it with younger kids. So if you're playing it with your children, and then they're struggling on a particular game, they can have the controller and they can do most of the features, but if you see that they're doing something wrong, or if there's a particularly hard bit, like if you have to jump over something and it's particularly hard or technical, then you can take over on that bit there. So that's a useful feature. Now what we do to set it up, it's really straightforward. You just go to Xbox Home, and then we're going to be going down to settings. So we're going to be going down to where it says settings, then we're going to go across to all settings and press A. And what we want to do is we want to go down to the very bottom where it says ease of access. That one down the bottom and we're going to be pressing A again and you want to go down to controller and press A. And then if you have a look at that bottom setting there, it says co-pilot settings. So move down to that one, press A, and at the bottom there it says turn on co-pilot. So you're just going to press A and then you'll feel that the other controller will buzz. There we go, so the other controller buzzed and now basically that is co-pilot set up. So let's get back out of that now. Let's go back to our game. And if you have a look now, you can see that, let me zoom out. You can see now, if I move left on this, the character goes left, and if I move left on this one, the character also goes left. So for example, one person can be looking around here while the other one's moving around. Yeah, so you get the idea of it. So it's really useful. And again, you could have a bit of fun with this. If you were playing something like World of Tanks, you could have one person doing the driving, and then you could have the other person on the gun turret, just like what it would be, for example, if you were in a real tank. So, so it is a useful feature, especially on certain games, I could imagine with a bit of imagination, it would come in handy. Okay, now to turn it off is really straightforward. All we've got to do is there's two ways of doing it. This is the quickest way, or you can go back to the ease of access settings again and just turn Copilot off. But this is the quickest way to do it. Just hold down this button here as if you're gonna turn off the console or turn off your controller. And if you have a look now, you've now got a new option there that says turn off Copilot, which is not normally there. You go across to it, you press A, and now if we go back to the game, you will now see that this controller's working but now this controller is no longer working. Now, when it comes to streaming over to a Windows 10 computer on the Xbox app, unfortunately, Copilot doesn't work. So when you stream the game over to here, normally you can connect up one or two controllers to the Windows 10 laptop or PC. But when it comes to the Copilot thing, when you go down to the option and try to turn it on, even though you've got your controllers connected to it, it will just keep saying connect controllers because it thinks you're trying to do it on the Xbox One again. Unfortunately, at the moment, Copilot doesn't work when streaming to a Windows 10 laptop or PC. Hopefully in the future they might bring it out, but at the time of filming, which is April 2017, it doesn't work. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.